on this video, I am continuing what I have been doing in the book of Job, trying to work through each verse uh, slowly by reading the Hebrew text and doing a grammatical analysis of the verse, uh, each verse, followed by a running commentary on each verse. And we worked our way up to verse 14 of chapter 29. In this chapter, Job is reviewing what his life was like in the past. And notice he says in verse 14, Sedik lavashti v'yil v'sheni. That is righteousness. I clothe myself or I put on and and it clothed itself with me. Uh, notice uh, we have lavashti is your cow perfect first common singular from lavash. So I put on righteousness and it clothed me. Uh, notice yobasheni again from the root labash, uh, a cow imperfect third masculine singular, followed by the pronominal suffix first person singular in the e. So righteousness I put on, and it clothed me. And then kim il vitsa vitsa nif mishpati. My uh, justice, uh, as we could say, as a, a turban or as a robe and a, a diadem, or as a turban and a diadem was my justice. And notice as we look at this verse, what he seems to be saying is, he put on the turban, which was a long flowing robe worn by a high priest or a prominent official. And Job was robed with righteousness and judgment. In other words, he was respected for his righteous uh, judgment and his righteous ways at one time. My eyes, uh, I was, we could say eyes, I was to the blind. Hayiti is from Haya, the cow perfect first common singular from Haya. Uh, eyes, I was to the Iver, to the blind. A one and feet beraglayim le pise ani feet uh, to the lame I and then was understood. In other words, I was eyes to the blind and I was feet to the lame. And what Job is saying here is uh, basically since the blind and lame, had little means of caring for themselves, he was able to look after them. Society was to look after them at that time and care for them. Just like the widows and orphans, they could easily be taken advantage of. So Job took time to do for them things they could not do for themselves. And uh, we see uh, a, a parallel text here in Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 18. So he continues to de describe uh, what he was. Notice verse 16. Avanohi le evyonim. I was a father. A father, I was understood to the needy. Believe lo yadati ech karehu. And the cause 
uh, of him that knew not of the one, the cause of him, literally that I knew not, excuse me, that I knew not, the cause of him that I knew not, I searched out. Ech karehu. I searched it out from hakar to search. It's a cow imperfect first common singular from hakar. And u is your pronominal suffix, uh, third masculine singular. So I searched it out. Uh, and uh, the cause of the one of him, uh, the one that I did not know, I was willing to even help search it out and try to help. And basically, instead of depriving the orphans uh, of their support, as Eliphaz had asserted, Job acted as a father to them. He really helped them. And that's something that Job is to be commended for and would be what any follower of the Lord could be commended for. And then in verse 17, it reads, the Ashabra metalaot aval. I broke the jaws of the unrighteous. Notice Ashabra is a PL imperfect first person singular from Shabar. And here we have the Hate Pathak, followed by the Pathak in the doubling of the middle radical in the bait, indicative of a PL stem. So I broke the jaws of the unrighteous and Umishanav Ashli Tarif. And uh, from his teeth, I uh, plucked the prey. I plucked the prey from his teeth, that is, from the teeth of the unrighteous. Ashli here is from Shalak. It's a Hifil imperfect first common singular. And so in verse 17, the image here is taken from fighting with wild beasts. And we see a further reference to this in chapter 4, verse 11 in Psalm 3, 7. He was compassionate to the oppressed and uh, violent, uh, or, or actually he judged the oppressors. He broke their teeth or jaws so that they had no power left, is what he's saying. This was probably accomplished by his righteous judgments in the court. Uh, and so he's saying that was what I did, the opposite of what he's been accused of by his friends. And so in verse 18, the Omar im keni ekva. Uh, and I said, I shall die with my nest. Literally, with my nest, I shall expire. Uh, the Omar is the cow imperfect first common singular from Amar. With my nest, egva from gava to expire. It is your cow imperfect first common singular. So with my nest, I shall expire. And the hachol harbe yamin. And as the sand, I shall multiply my days. Arbe is from rabba to increase. And here we have a hifil imperfect first common singular from rabba. And uh, hachol. I'm understanding whole here as sand. And I think the thought is, uh, I he was thinking, I'm going to multiply my days as the sand of the sea. And so he's looking forward to having a long life. 
Job expected to have a long life and he expected his children to outlive him. Uh, he did achieve this, by the way, when we look at chapter 42, verse 16. So then in verse 19, the text then continues. Sharshi fatuach ale mayim. That is, my root is uh, spread unto the waters, or out of the waters, into the waters. Vatal yalin bik siri. And the dew uh, shall lodge upon my branch. In other words, I'm going to have a prosperous long life. Patuach uh, or fatua is the cow passive participle, masculine singular from patach unto the waters. So my root is spread unto the waters and the dew will cause to lodge from moon. Uh, here we have the cow in uh, here we have the hip field, imperfect third masculine singular from the root to lodge on my branch. And so in verse 19, he likened himself to a well-watered tree. He said that his roots spread out to the waters and hence would not wither or die. Do also on the branches would keep it green, which again was a metaphor for Job's expected prosperity along with his long life. And so uh, he continues then in verse 20. Kevodi chadash imadi. My glory shall be fresh or new uh, with me in me, the kashti be yadi ta khalif. In my bow, in my hand, shall be caused to renew. My glory shall be new or fresh within me, and my bow, in my hand, uh, shall be renewed. Here we have a hip feel. Um, imperfect second masculine singular from halav. And so in verse 20, he had believed, Joe had believed that his fame would continue to increase. Uh, new honors would always be attributed to him, seems to be what he's saying, the glory that I would receive. And so he then goes on to describe what his life had been like. Verse uh, 21, Li shamu'u v'yichelu. That is, unto me, uh, men gave ear, or they heard, and they waited uh, for me, and they kept silence for my counsel. V'yidmu lemo atsati. So men heard Shamu from Shama, the cow perfect, third common plural. And uh, waited um, cow, uh, a, a PL, uh, imperfect, uh, third common a plural from Halal a third uh, masculine plural, I should say, from halal, they waited and they kept silence from damam, cal, imperfect, third uh, masculine plural. They kept silence uh, for me, that is for my counsel, for me, for my counsel. And so what he's saying here is Job remembers his former dignity and he's doing this with pleasure. Uh, men gave heed to his words. 
they waited for his counsel. In verse 22 then, Ahare uh, Devari Lo Yishnu. After my words, they did not uh, repeat or they did not uh, speak again or they spoke not again. But Alemo Titof Milan. And my speech dropped upon them. Titof from Nataf. It is the cow imperfect, a third feminine uh, singular from Natav. So my speech dropped upon them. Uh, and my words were final. They did not speak again after I spoke. And so <clears throat> what he's saying in 22 then, Job's words were spoken with insight and wisdom that no one needed to contradict him. And my speech literally dropped upon them, is the Hebrew uh, word here, not tough. His words eased their minds as gentle rains refresh the soil on which they fall. And a parallel text might be Deuteronomy 32, verse 2. And then we continue in verse 23. Veyachalu ha matarli. That is, they waited for me as people wait for the rain. Ufihim pa'aru le malkosh. And they opened their mouth wide uh, for the latter rain. Pa'aru is the cow perfect third common plural from pa'ar. And the thought here seems to be uh, the image begins in verse 22 and it's continued. Job's counsel was anticipated as the soil awaits for the refreshing rain. In the ancient Near East, the land especially waits for the latter or spring rains occurring in March and April. In the same manner, men eagerly waited for Job's words. Job's thoughts were quickly received when he gave them. And then he continues in verse 24. As heik alehem lo ya aminu, if I laughed, on them, they did not believe. Uh, they did not believe it. And the light of my countenance, my face, but or panai lo yapilun. The light of my face, they did not caught, cast down. <clears throat> Notice here, eshak is from sahak to laugh the cow imperfect first common singular. And I think we must supply like, if I laugh uh, unto them or upon them or on them, they believed it not. Yahaminu is from Aman. It's the Hifil uh, imperfect uh, third masculine plural from Aman. And the light of my face, but or apanai lo, Ya pilun. They did not cast it down. Ya pilun is from nafal to, to cause or to fall. Here we have a hifil imperfect, a third masculine plural from nafal. And the thought here seems to be Job had such stature that all he had to do was smile. And that would cheer someone who was despondent. Job's cheer came from his deep trust in God, for he never permitted others to depress him, seems to be the thought. 
And then so the last verse, <clears throat> I chose out their way, have har darkam, and set as chief, the eshev rosh, the eshkon kamelik, big dude. And I dwelt as a king in the camp or among the troops. So to, so to speak. And Ka'asher uh, Avelim Yenahim. As one who comforts the mourners, as the mourning ones, mourning ones, those that are crying, Yenahim, uh, he comforts. As such a one, that's the way I was. And so Job is saying, uh, I chose out their way, Evhar is from Bahar to choose the cow imperfect first common singular. And I set as chief, the Eshev from uh, Yashab to set, cow imperfect first common singular. And I dwelt, Eshkon from Shakan to dwelt, a cow imperfect first common singular as king uh, in or among the troop uh, and as one who comforts mourners. Yenachem is from Naham to comfort. It's the PL imperfect third masculine uh, singular. And so the thought here is Job counseled others on the way they should go. He dwelt like a benevolent king in the midst of his people. In this kingly, in this highly esteemed position, he was also very helpful and sympathetic to comfort the lowly. He was a comforter to the lowly. So basically, he in this whole chapter, what Job is doing, he's setting forth his past life and what his life was like and how wonderful it was and how uh, how we could say popular he was and how good he was. But now in chapter 30, he'll move on to continue his speech by contrasting his present tragic position with his past joyful one. And uh, again, he's going to do a contrast of the two. And But we see how righteous Job was in this chapter as we finish, as we finish chapter 29. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, certainly, the everything that's said here is the epitome of what a godly person would look like. And that would be true in the New Testament application uh, that one is to live out the life of Christ in this kind of uh, wonderful summary of what a kind and good follower of Christ should look like.